in time to save ourselves from being kicked off iHeartRadio so we can wait another four months to do a podcast. Of course, if you don't remember us or you've never heard of us, we are the Wrestling Burn, Part CB, and the Zombie. What is up, fellas? Not too much. What's going on, everybody? Nothing really. Just uh, playing with your sex toys that you keep in here. And yep. It's not very loud. I don't uh, think it's very effective. Uh, well, you are the game. From like 2011, and Burger King, so it's cheap. Take it back. <laughs> yep, and that's you know, the we'll intro. Do. <laughs> that is the intro. How come we don't all have those Hulk Hogan finger puppets on? I don't know. Because there's only two of them. I just found another one. We're slowly getting our uh, I can podcast see. room together here a little bit. I can see. I like the shelving you guys have put up over there. I know there. the last time you were in this podcast room, we uh, it um, was a fucking disaster. It was. We It still is. Yeah, it still is. We've been kind of trying to get shit together, put shelving up, and you know, all the wrestling and nerd walls. and Not to mention we were fucked. Yeah, that too. You know. But that's that. that I is was that. normal. <laughs> I'm drinking coffee today. I'm, I'm having a beer. I'll probably have a coffee though before NXT. Stay awake. Yeah, I got I got coffee. All right, excellent, uh, excellent. Yeah, we got coffee. Is uh, is Velveteen Dream wrestling tonight? Yes. You know, right. I don't even know anything about NXT. <sighs> I'm gonna. I don't know the what the hell's card. going on there. Yeah, um, read me the match card, because I haven't heard anything about EC3 or Ricochet. I think that's who's actually fighting. Um, Velveteen Dream is EC3. Oh, for the North American title or whatever. I don't know. I will tell you right or now. He's not the North American champion. Adam is Cole. He? Adam Cole, Bebe. What the fuck's the uh, North American champion? All right. It's like the Intercontinental champion. No. Okay. Marcel Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. Okay. Last man standing. I thought he was fired. No. This is stupid. Shayna Baszler versus Kari Sane. They're gonna give it to the Asian. Adam Cole vs. Ricochet. Bebe! Undisputed Era vs. Mustache Mountain. Who is Mustache uh, Mountain? Tyler Bate and some other guy from England. They have, like, ridiculous mustaches. So they call themselves Mustache Mountain. I like the tag team. I name. want that shirt. Mm-hmm. Velveteen Dream vs. EC3. Okay. And that's it. That's probably going to be... No, the... Does EC3 have the title? No. No. Adam Cole against what's his name will probably be match of the night. Ricochet. I would think, although the main event has a real chance to too. Shayna Baszler's the champ down there, right? Yeah. yeah. She's gonna drop. Giant butch lesbian. Why is she? Oh, she's going up, isn't she? They're gonna start the um, four horse woman versus four horse woman. Yeah, they're gonna try and do that at Survivor so Series. So Sasha, Bailey, Becky, Becky, Charlotte. and Charlotte. Even though they're all in different shows, and Sasha and Bailey have that weird lesbian love angle going on. Yeah, they do. Yeah, the huggy, Dougie, the Dougie boss thing. hug, booty connection. Is that what they call? Boss hug connection. Oh, I thought they were feuding still. No, I they're, think they're gonna. They're getting ready. They're seeing how it goes with uh, out calling it out yet, but trying to test out the uh, tag team women's division without actually saying it's a tag team women's division. Because the Bellas are coming back and they want to be the first tag team women champion. They're coming back officially? Yes. But what's her face couldn't fucking wrestle because she'd wreck her neck. Nikki, no. She's fine. But her neck was all fucked up. No, they're... she just hasn't been wrestling because John Cena destroyed her. Yeah. He destroyed her pussy? Yeah. It's, everyone is determined John Cena's a giant dick, right? Like. But. Y- He's a dick. I, you know, I'm not defending fucking John Cena, but she's the one that broke it off this time, not him. So, and yeah, and he's a dick. And it was fake. No, I'm saying he has a giant dick. Oh, no, well, I don't think so. I think he does. He's no Andre the Giant. No, well, no, nobody is an Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant is like take all of our arms, put them together, and we've got about half of his. It's like, it's like a hammerhead shark. Andre, Andre the Giant's dick is a hammerhead shark. Is a hammerhead shark. You know those sharks that are killing people off Cape Cod right now? That's Andre the Giant's dick swimming. He may be dead, but his penis is still alive. His penis is so big that it can stay alive. Detached. 
and detached and went to swimming. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's what's really times. going on good with uh, Ohio State's assistant, though. He got fucked by Andre the Giant's yeah. dick. That's yeah. who gave him up. Yeah. Andre the Giant? His penis. His penis gave him up. Well, that's always good to know. Alright, so that's a good start. Good start to the episode. <laughs> you don't like my mother Got me. I have no idea. Was, I have no idea rough. what the fuck that was even about. I've been paid for by the New World Order. We're back. <laughs> we haven't stirred anything up in a long time. Let's stir the pot. Took up my slide round and I got my star candy 97. <laughs> that was it. I know. That was their comeback video. When did they do that? Uh, during the week? week? Yeah, two days ago. I'm not on SmackDown or Raw, though. No. No, it was a break in thing. Break-in thing? Yeah, it was a break-in thing. Like they, they were pretending they broke into the studio? No, I don't know. I don't get it. It was, I, a, it was a YouTube video that they made. It, they didn't say what it was for or what it was for. They, they, there were rumors flying around everywhere that at SummerSlam... Are they, are that they're sure going to SummerSlam? I, or Positive? Bash at the Beach. Uh, Bash at the Beach? Yeah. Uh. One of them that the NWO is going to show up and interfere pretty much the way Hogan did. So it's going to be a heel turn in some fashion. But they're going to turn, you know, they're going to make the new NWO. I feel like that won't work as a heel turn, though, because they're going to... They're going to get cheered. Yeah. I think they're going to have to do it with people like maybe Ziggler and McIntyre that people already freaking hate. And they're going to have to take somebody that they like... So they're gonna have and to turn really them. turn them on somebody that they like even more. Ambrose and Rollins. So Seth Rollins, Jack, because he's white hot right now. At least he was last it, time. If I Ambrose last turned time. on Rollins, I think he would well, get. That's heat. what's gonna happen. He would get heat. You mean steroid Ambrose? Yeah. You mean the Incredible Bulk? Normal the, Dean Ambrose is gone. He left. Dirty Dean. Yeah. Dirty. Dirty. Uh, dirty. Dirty Dean done dirt cheap. Yeah. He gone. It's now roided, uh, Ambrose. And the thing is, he's not that big. It's just he looks so much bigger than he was. He's a little more cut. Or his before cut he was I more mean, stringy. Out, what, like nine months? He was out a long time. They could build a pretty good story with that, because their matches were so good when, when Seth turned. I feel like it's so obvious, though. Well, the problem is, too, the advertisement for... Survivor Series already has them teaming up against Ziggler and McIntyre. But that would be a good cover. Yeah. Advertise that. Have them turn at SummerSlam or Survivor Series or Bash at the Beach. Well, that'd be the, o- the other you call poster because that wasn't there one with uh, Ronda with the women's title already yep. that came out. Forget if that was for house shows or what that was for, but I think that was right before Mania, right after Mania. Yeah, I don't think she's going to win. Yeah, she's not winning t- tomorrow either. It's too obvious right now. I think somebody's going to... Alexa's too hot of a champion right now to lose. They have no problem taking the belt off of her for Biggums. That was... Uh, I don't even know what that was for. That was a pointless drop. I think Alexa Bliss is the only one that can really wrestle. Well, I mean... No, yeah, that's not true, because other girls have proved they can. Well, the boss and, um... And Bailey. Bailey. Bailey, that fucking mean streak she had when she was kicking the shit out of fucking... Sasha. Sasha. That was good. That um, that showed me something. When she turns into pussy Bailey, I don't, I don't fucking like it. And I, 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 I said this before, that when they're in NXT, Triple H seems to let them fucking wrestle. And then when they come up, it seems like Vince, Vince shackles them. Well, this is why you can I don't only think do Vince this. even knows. I I feel like NXT is like an independent to Vince. He doesn't even fucking watch it. He has no clue what's going on. He's like, well, whatever. He has no say down there. Yeah, but you can tell the shows down there are 100% better than Raw or SmackDown. because Triple H has his own writing team compared to Raw or SmackDown. Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes, I think, is the head writer on... And an XT. Yeah. Screw Michael Hayes. Hey! 
Hey. I think they have a little more free range down there. I think it's Vince... more get yourself over. I feel like it's not as like even close to as produced. Well, whether it's produced or not, I mean, I'm talking wrestling-wise in the ring. It seems like they can do all these things down there, but when they come up here, Vince goes, well, you, can only, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't flip off the top rope. Only, stop, only uh, Flair can do a backflip off the top rope. And I, don't, I don't know. It just it seems so stupid to me. I don't know. Unknown. Unknown. I'm excited for NXT tonight, though. Be read the card off. Was that on the air or right before? Yeah, I was on the air. That was on the air? Was hey, it? that was yeah. on the air. I think I have CTE. CTE? How, how deep into the show are we? I feel like it's 50, it's been at least 20 minutes, and I don't know where I am. You're gone. Uh, we're about 11 minutes in. Oh, good. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I've had about half a beer. I'm zombie in it My board today. broke. My board broke no, again. No sound effect. Get him out! Oh, it's like way out. I'm just gonna let you click. Dead air while you click. Get him out of here! Get out! Get him out of here! Yeah. So do we have any any guesses for the new NWO other than Ambrose? Is it, was, it supposed to be other people joining Ambrose, or is it just gonna be... I don't know. I feel like it I, has I, to be. It can't... Unless you're doing a Ziggler or McIntyre Ambrose. I mean, obviously they said we're back, all three of them. So, I, unless they're promoting is like 25 years of NWO or something like that. Maybe it is. They, I don't are know. Are they promoting a DVD that's coming out? Or a special DVD I mean, we haven't seen Hogan. It, it, it would work. You haven't seen Hogan since he dropped the N-word right. video. Right. I mean, seeing nigga on national TV, I, I don't understand. It's a word, people. That's all it is. If you, your feelings get hurt by calling that word or being called a bitch or being called... Whatever. Just F fucking moron, jackhole... It's still just a word. Get over it! Anyways, um, that would probably be a good idea to bring him back as an evil NWO Hogan instead of. Oh, his beard is black right now. Yeah. I know he dyed that. everything I black. I dyed it back. Well, it was never a real beard. That's the, It was painted on. Nobody's beard is that black. Well, he used that fucking. Used just that for men black. I'm gonna he just go dyed dark. it really dark. I think he. Painted it. It was like paint beard that wasn't real. Yeah, it's it what they sprayed the belts with. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Just wait, brother. I'm gonna spray my beard on. Ooh, wait a minute, that's Macho Man. Brother, listen, listen here, dude. Got a look. <laughs> wow, that got really, really bad. That was um, maybe, my... maybe never do that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've ruined. You ruined the whole show. I'm done. I'm leaving. Okay, that's fine. I'm leaving the show right now. That's fine. We've put up our 11 minutes. They can't kick us off now. Think of that. Uh, it's possibly the shittiest theme I've ever heard. I think it's supposed to be because of their shirts or so. This is, their sh shirts are supposed to be like they colored them with magic marker. Yeah, I so realize that. I've seen them a couple the times. The whole thing is supposed to be generic. Are they like the new tag champs now? They are the new champs. Excellent. And they yeah. actually show signs of being able to wrestle, mm -hmm. but... I mean... They've always been able fathers. to. Yeah, they can wrestle, but they've been held back. I mean, their wins lately have been lucky wins. They're fighting the Revival at SummerSlam. On a pre-show. The Revival is back to getting regular matches? Yeah, kind of. They're hashtag top guys again? Yeah. What's mm -hmm. going on with the club? <laughs> buried. Yeah, buried. Gals and Anderson? Not doing shit. They're on SmackDown, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're on SmackDown. Yeah, Just uh, like I the bar. You don't see the bar anymore. SmackDown doesn't get Just like the APA, ATA, ART, AOP. Don't see them. They're they're what? fighting fucking. Uh, oh, Titus Worldwide. Titus Worldwide and losing. It's like what the yeah. fuck is going on? They've with been this? losing to Titus Worldwide. 
These guys are supposed to be monsters and you have them losing to Titus O'Neil. And Vince doesn't know what to do with these people. Vince needs to step down. That's all I have to say. Step down, old man. I what? hope these guys... I know um, it was rumored that like Asuka, Shinsuke, the club, they're all going to go back to New Japan. Just because they... Just because they're not being used. What about Finn Balor? Mm-hmm. Fighting yeah. Constable Corbin? Yeah. Is and that then, a pre-show match? Yep. Losing. Seems like a pre-show yeah, match. Yeah, Constable Corbin's probably going to lose. Yeah. Yo, don't talk shit about Constable Corbin. That's your boy. It, it was. It still is. The so storylines right now are stale. Suck. That, I, I pretty much fast forward through Raw. The only good storyline is the Miz and Daniel Bryan. So those promos are good. What what are the promos like right now? I saw one from a couple of weeks ago where Daniel Bryan was complaining and the Miz was like somewhere and he ended up throwing up a bunch of babies crying on the screen and shit, calling him a crybaby. And... Have you watched Miz's show at all? No. It's pretty funny. Maurice looks fat. She's pregnant. She had a baby already. Yeah, Not but on the, on the show... Yeah. yeah, I didn't even recognize her. Because her face is so fat. I'd fuck Maurice so good. Yeah, I'd, but... I'd attempt to. I'd come way too soon. She'd, she'd talk about taking her clothes off and I'd She'd stop talking in that French... French accent. Not even, I wouldn't. She just <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd see. Like, like, I'd see like the bare skin on her hand. I'd be like, oh god. <laughs> was that as good for you as it was for me? It's all I needed, baby. <sighs> but they're funny. I, anyone that doesn't like the Miz yet sucks. Because he shits on people. Yes. And, and he's then, the most entertaining wrestler in the company. And then he's a Browns fan, so you can shit on him? No, can't shit on him. Browns are going to be nasty this year, bro. Yeah, they're going to take their division. They're not going to take their division, but they're going to be good. Oh, they're going to take their division. Who, who's going to beat them? Who's going to beat them? Yeah. The Steelers. Doubtful. No. This sucks. Steelers suck. The Ravens are finishing in last in that division. Big Ben's just going to get another rape charge. That's fine. He won a Super Bowl after his last rape mm-hmm. charge. Rape, equ- rape equals Super Bowls. Everybody knows that. Big Ben the rapist. That's right. Look at New England. Dolph Ziggler is also a Browns fan. I know. Well, right. isn't uh, the Miz and Dolph Ziggler like best friends? Yeah, they used to be next door neighbors. Yeah. So isn't uh, Dana Brooke? She's a Browns fan. Oh, that's right. She's she's from there. And she dated Dolph Ziggler. I think Alexa Bliss too. Everyone likes the Browns. Yeah. See? Everybody's Browns. I'm fan. a bandwagon Browns fan now. I have a Browns hat somewhere. You're gonna get a Jarvis Landry Browns jersey. Dude, now if you find if you guys ever find a Johnny Manziel Browns jersey, you let Actually, me know. Actually, we have seen that, haven't we? No, I huh? haven't. Maybe if, you have. If you do, you let me know. Did you get that Tim Tebow uh, figure? It's yes. sitting in my living room right now. Tebow. Yeah, I saw that and I'm like, ah, Tebow, I got that. Two ninety nine cents. Oh, boy. Oh, Tebow. boy. I actually have a, I have a brand new vintage Browns hat. Yeah. It's uh, in that thing over there. It says really? Dog Pound. Yeah, it's the Dog Pound. Dog Pound, my asshole. Yep. Excellent. Doug pound you, Doug pound me, Doug pound everybody, and then take a pee. Has there been any new diva leaks? That's all I really care about. Any who what? New diva leaks. No diva leaks. Damn it. One day Alexa Bliss will have hers leaked. Then the internet will probably go nuts. As long as I don't have to see what's her face again, Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte pre boob job was disgusting. Who had a nip slip the other day? Someone had... Oh, um, uh... Carmella had a nip slip. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Again. And, uh... Always. And, uh, what's her face has had a couple, almost. Ronda Rousey. Because she wears that loose friggin' top there. That almost gets yanked off of her. 
damn it. Well, I'll let you know when this Have you noticed that her husband's always sitting at ringside? Yeah. Well, he's training too. I heard he might come to WWE. Mm, good. Is Alicia Fox still at the company? Yeah. Oh, she got ragdolled. Holy crap, that right. Rousey kicked the living. I thought she killed her. Rousey's like. Well. Oh boy. She still thinks it's a fucking. Holy crap. Oh, she, she fucking turns, look the fuck out because. Holy crap. She, who do you think was, was stiffer in the ring? Ronda Rousey or Ken Shamrock? Because Ken Shamrock rocks some fucking guys. She doesn't hit She doesn't hit them, but when she does that uh, flip fucking thing... The hip toss. The hip toss. She fucking whips them. Yeah, I mean, you can't really fake a hip toss. That's the problem. Brock's been pretty stiff, too. Um, that's I don't know what the hell's going on with that whole angle. He's, he's going having to- a private meeting tomorrow before his match. Or he's going to say, See ya! Or, no. you know what's going to happen? He's going to say, I'm staying for another three-month contract. The WWE might be looking at it like, if they get, give, if they let him keep the title and he goes to UFC and wins the title there, he's going to be the only WWE UFC champion. And they're looking at Cashola there. Well, he's looking extra small right now for himself. Because he's back in that steroid testing pool. Yeah. Because he can't come back until January. Mm-hmm. The problem is everybody, everybody everybody much knows, knows that he's going to lose. That Reigns is going to take the title. I don't think Reigns is walking out champion, though. Isn't Bobby Lashley in that match, too? I thought him beating Reigns meant he was the number one contender. He did, and then they had another match, and he lost. I think Lashley's feuding with Elias or something. Yeah, he's feuding with Elias, which is dumb. Another guy who's getting buried now. But Elias is supposed to have his own concert tomorrow. He's having a concert before the fucking thing tomorrow. Good. I have you listened to his album? It's basically just a bash album. No. It's a great album. Is it on It's Apple four Music? songs. Probably. It's four songs. And it's basically songs he's sung about places he's been that suck. I'm going to look it up right now. It can probably find one of the songs. Well, I have Apple Music. Uh, Walk with Elias EP? Yeah. They have it on here. I'll listen to it later. I'll listen to it on my way it's home. Tough. It's I want to walk with Elias. No. While you play an ad. I don't know if that'll play at all. Hello, I am Elias. And you're going to remember this forever. I was born a drifter. My highway is the sky. That's enough of that shit. Hey, 
So yeah, it's basically four songs of kind of yeah. like this. Just him shitting on. Just him shitting on people and places he's been and how much people suck. Excellent. Yeah, it's... That's the only thing he does now, though. Yeah. People love him, but then they boo him, too. I think he's only won, like, six matches. <laughs> he, he never wins. Probably he can wrestle and everything, but now they got him stuck with they don't know what to do with him. It's they never know what to do with anything. That's their problem. They've they've got plans for three guys, and if you're not one of those three guys, well, have fun because you you're not doing shit. Elias's win loss records twenty seven two and forty seven. Well, twenty seven forty seven and two. Sit down, hug, hug, hug. It's a big losing record. Yeah, seen as in NXT, he had 49 wins, 3 draws, and 130 losses. Because he was the drifter. That's right. <laughs> Alright, folks. Pay-per-view, he's 2-5. and five. Is Rusev day of a match? Yes. Yeah, him and Lana are facing uh, Cian Almas and Selena Vega. Damn it, he's going to lose. Yeah, because of Aiden English. Yeah, yeah, English is gonna interfere again. I just, it's funny, uh, Lana. Aiden, is Aiden English a, like against him now? No, he's trying to help them, but every time he tries to help, he fucks them over. Oh, so they're gonna make them feud soon? Yeah. That's funny. Lana comes out and is talking, and then Rusev says something, and she goes back, and she's speaking perfect English. It's like, okay, jump in and out of that character. Dude, don't shit on on the best group of people ever. Lana's getting better wrestling. Slowly. She's getting there. Well, Machka. Yeah. Alright, let's end this fucking shit show. Alright. Thanks for listening to this shit show. Machka out. Machka out. Yeah. Bye. What do you mean, Machka out? Machka out! Listen to uh, our uh, Twitter account. Listen to our Twitter account. Hey, There's go to our Twitter things. account. Go to our, actually our Twitter account probably blows, but you can go to our uh, now our Instagram. Pretty much sucks too. Yeah. Uh, if you want to go to our Facebook page, you know we haven't done shit there either. eBay. You can fucking go there if you want. You could also go to our eBay account, which we do have a shit ton of shit. If you want some good sh wrestling shit. Machka. Machka. Kaka. <laughs> See the zombie post pictures of his lunch on his own Instagram account? Yes. Lunch. Machka. Machka. Welcome to the revolution. Machka out.